Unongkit kitin si ibn u ambassador jongka Jepang u Santoshi Suzuki u lahir bandek penjurit dan lagi jongki kemat ya ka jingbu ya kawai ka core oxygen ne ka oxygen generation plan ka melebu hapo nongpo civil hospital ka jingbu ya kani ka core penmi oxygen nongpo ka day kawai ne ki south ni ki melebu hagi jaka a jing sumar ki badan hagi ni ki jela ya ka palairap ban bay pisah dekat di Jepang lingba ka united National Development Program bat kesorkar Mikalia hagani ke jingwan ban jurep ni umong kit tinsim jo Japan wa senran lang ye u da menteri bedekmi ya ka tarot ka koi ka kia ka jela ujin speaki sangma dr amanwa director dhs mi dr p n khan medical superintendent nongpo civil hospital bat kwe kwe ha bakren hagani ke jingwan ban jurep u suzuki udap da government sim ke besok men ban chem ba ue ba ka e ka ba ka ri ke jing u ka ai sobha lala ban pentrai kam hok ya ka kat no tam lei lei ka ban nyarap sibun hakum kene ka por ka badan kam hai ka oksigen hadin ke jingwan ban link shop jangka kram covid 19 kat ban ak liang u jin speak sangma u lesim ya ka kabu ban pedang subha ya u suzuki pat ka gunhun ke jong u ha ka ba umla ban klem de purtu ya ke jinglong ka baklo jong ke japan ban kene lem ya ke ti jingarap ban no senyang ta kum kene ki kor ki bor ka bada sisha ka jingarap ka bakador Kaba anum la su ban klet junom la junom bat menta haba kini ki kor baro la la ban pendai kan pelong ya ke jelah mikalia paha kenu makanu ke por kan la pakanya kun persa ya ke jengwan lin siat biang jong ke jengpang ni wat kiwai kiwai dru ki jengja. Together with the honorable chief minister uh, Mr. Konrad Sanguma and the president representative of UNDP India Ms. Shoko Noda. I join the handover ceremony uh, to uh, uh, oxygen generation plant to the state of Megaraya. I understand there are three uh, de destinations of the oxygen generation plants, and of course uh, one of them is uh, here in Nongpu. So I'm very delighted to uh, to be here, and thank you for uh, warmly wel welcoming us today. Um, It is, uh, I, I'm really delighted to take a first uh, look at the facility itself. It's been uh, nicely installed and operating. And this is a uh, you know, partnership uh, done by uh, UNDP and Japanese Embassy uh, collaboration together with the officials of the uh, government of the uh, state of Megalaya. <coughs> And this is a, a token of goodwill and friendship of the people of Japan uh, to you amid uh, a very uh, difficult time and challenges uh, during the course of the pandemic earlier this year. But I am very delighted that this project has been successfully uh, completed and it's working, helping people. So I hope that the big oxygen generation plant will help as many people in Meghalaya and uh, in other areas as possible uh, to uh, overcome uh, any diseases. And also, this would enhance uh, the uh, capacity of this uh, important hospital uh, to deal with uh, uh, issues uh, coming uh, in the years to come. And uh, I think enhancement of the uh, healthcare sector is uh, the common agenda for India and Japan. So we will continue uh, to uh, extend our assistance and uh, we'll be uh, working together with you. Present here. Uh, first and foremost, uh, I would like to um, extend a very, very warm welcome to His Excellency. Um, mm -hmm. I believe this is his maiden visit to the state of Meghalaya. And uh, we are indeed very delighted and very honored by his presence. And uh, we really hope, sir, that you have a very nice stay in our state and you enjoy our hospitality. Um, we are, um, as was mentioned by Mr. Mahato, that um, it is in the times of difficulty that we really understand truly who our friends are. And um, COVID for all of us, as we know, has been such a challenge, was such a difficult time, not just for our state, for our people, but the entire world, a great disruptor, if I may call it. 
and uh, it is during that time that all of us struggled so much especially the health department the way our doctors our officers in the health department uh, our nurses all paramedic staff uh, frontline workers had to struggle so much and uh, everyone um, met the challenge head on and uh, really so much of sacrifice so much of hard work was put in at that point of time and it is during that challenging time that um, the government of japan the people of japan along with the undp they came forward and extended this help to the people of meghalaya for which we are truly i place this on record truly indebted to the embassy to the government of japan and to the undp for that help extended to our people our state it was much needed as we all know the second wave when it hit us um, the the biggest concern was the supply of oxygen and uh, that was the kind of challenge that was faced by all of us and uh, today we are very fortunate that because of the help of the government of japan and uh, you know other uh, agencies like the UNDP and other friends that today Meghalaya is poised uh, we are prepared <coughs> uh, for any kind of uh, eventuality that we may hopefully not have to face but if it does come we will be better prepared for that and really we are very indebted and very thankful to his excellency to the government of Japan uh, and the people of Japan on a whole for the kind of help they have uh, provided. Uh